something like that. How would I know? <laughs> okay, we're with Ailey Child, uh, ambassador for SSE, and we're just uh, talking about a couple of topics. And uh, you know, this one I think could be summed up our time to shine. I mean, I think it was Ailish McColgan that told us recently that she just can't believe that there's London 2012, Glasgow 2014, London 2017, I think there's a Birmingham indoors in 2018. Yeah. It really is quite a sort of peak period for, for athletes in Britain with home games. Do you feel lucky? Yeah, I mean, really lucky. I mean, even just to have sort of a home Olympic Games was amazing, but then to have our own kind of Commonwealth Games as well in Glasgow and then like you say London again it's just yeah it's just incredible and I think I don't know how much we can really appreciate it just now but I think if we you know and I know quite a few years down the line when I'm retired and kind of looking back I will be so grateful that I was kind of involved in sport at this time you know it's such an exciting time for athletics. And I, I know you did enjoy the London 2012 experience it was your first Olympics you met Chris Hoy you met yeah. Prince Harry you <laughs> seem to seem to meet quite a lot of people and, and is that your overriding memories of it or is there a, a hint of disappointment about about your own performance yeah I mean I think initially I didn't really want to talk about the Olympics too much because there was that kind of horrible sort of sick feeling in my stomach that I didn't really perform very well but now that I've kind of thought about it more and, and I can look back on it with fond memories and it is the sort of memories like meeting Chris Hoy you know Prince Harry things like that that you know really do stick with me that are moments that you're never going to experience again and and that was the kind of the whole experience of the Olympics it was all those kind of moments and it feels because it didn't really happen now it feels so far away but yeah, and no, that's I'm hoping now going into the Commonwealth I'm just going to enjoy every single moment and just really have a good feeling about it. Of course, what has been nice is that there's been almost a boom in interest, uh, possibly in, in, in the wider sports uh, public f for athletics since London 2012. And have you felt part of that? Have you felt your own, maybe your own profile grow since, you know, before Delhi? Yeah, definitely. I think obviously off the back of the Olympics and now going into our home Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, I think, you know, people are becoming aware of who we are now. We are getting kind of recognised a bit more often. And it is nice because, you know, athletics is getting a bigger profile now. Um, and that's just really encouraging because people are now obviously taking more notice of it. And I think people were kind of surprised at how much they really got involved in all sports when the Olympics were on. Um, uh, and it's nice now that, you know, people who perhaps might not be in that interest in the Commonwealth Games are now thinking, oh, I want to get tickets, I want to go and see this and this. So, yeah, it's just great for the profile of the sport. I suppose another aspect of that is, though, that you're, you're out there, uh, you, you're over, you're being exposed, so you have to front up to how you perform. Yeah, that's it, exactly. And it's about remembering, you know, you, you don't want to let the sort of coverage that you get and the exposure that you get, you know, go to your head. And it is about remembering you have a job to do and you need to still train hard and do everything right. And, you know... At the end of the day, when it comes to the Commonwealth Games, yeah, it's going to be this huge expectation and this huge crowd, but it's still, for me, 400 metres, it's still 10 hurdles. I just got to go and do what I do all the time, you know. Um, and it is about sort of remembering that and being grounded. And the nice thing is I've got a good team around me. I've got a good coach that can, you know, help me stay focused like that. But, yeah, it's about enjoying the experience, enjoying the fact that, you know, people are getting more interested in athletics, but remembering we have a job to do as well. And among the people supporting you are SSE, you're a, an ambassador for them for the Games, a Scottish base, a company with a Scottish base supporting Scottish sports people. It's always good to see that. Yeah, it's really good. And, you know, they're a, a sponsor of the Commonwealth as well, so behind, you know, the whole event. And it's great to have them sort of support me as well. And it's nice to be in Perth today and come and visit the offices and kind of give something back as well. Thank you.